Thought I'd take just a moment to introduce you to my new best friend with these Creality machines. As you can see, it's it's done the outline, and now it's starting to fill in the bottom. This is the back of the uh, massive drone project. My new best friend, though, is the feed rate control. I don't really need it to be going this slow and literally take two hours or longer to fill in the back layer before it can start making the part. So you can, by turning the knob, you can increase that feed rate. Let's just go up 200%, so effectively doubling it. Roughly. And now it's just catching up. It, it seems to be about six lines of code before it catches up. And because those were short strokes, it happened right away. When it's doing one across this body, I mean, you're, you could be talking three or four minutes before the machine responds to any changes you make to the feed rate. But now I'm laying these uh, lines down at a little, little nicer rate. I think still slow enough to give me a good uh, first layer, I hope. I don't think that's overly fast. In fact, I think let's take it up to 250. We don't like the way it looks and we can always slow it back down. But it effectively speeds everything up. The only thing I think of at faster speeds it might be a good idea to uh, run the nozzle a little where I'm only running at 200. I think since I'm pushing plastic through there faster, maybe I should be running at about 215. So now it should start uh, heating that nozzle up. There we are, it's going up. You can see my 216 is there and it's climbing here. Just want to make sure that the plastic is uh, going to be able to come out. I haven't heard any skipping or notching, so. But I do want to make sure this first layer sticks really well. So there you go. There's just a little uh, bit of information in case you've never played with that control before. Play with it.